Hey there, Sign of Libra. This is Kim here to do a reading for you, and this reading is going to actually be timeless. I just doing a group of them that are timeless, and I kind of need to get on the ball, taking a little time off. Now I'm back. So, for Libra spirit guides, <laughs> angels are already starting to talk to you, so we already have messages coming out for you. I am balanced. Two, two, two. Uh, trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and action. Words, feelings, and action. And I really hope you can see that. Let me let me stand up for a sec and see. Yeah, okay. All right, so that's good. <clears throat> All right, Libra, um, we're going to pull from the Wisdom of the Oracle, and then I'm going to get into your tarot reading, and then we'll pull another um, card at the end. So, yin energy is coming out. That's extremely good. Um, it goes along with the times right now, um, as I've been feeling more uh, divine feminine energy anyway. Um, but, yeah, so that's that's what that is. Um it's the yin of the yang, yang. <laughs> and um, it basically is saying, look, be ready to receive. Um, that's what's in store for you to receive. And um, it may be a time of pause or inaction with the yin. So whatever that means to you, take time out for yourself. I'm looking at those... Uh, rose petals thinking you know that could be like your bath and, and if you notice you've got four twos I feel like they could be scattered in a bath or something wouldn't that be nice so that is what's coming out for you trusting your intuition um going inside going inside trusting your intuition so let's get some tarot now and see, we'll pull, um, we'll pull Celtic Press for you, Libras. Actually, let's clear the deck. For Libras, what's the issue for our Libras? Woohoo! Issue is, wish granted, guys. I mean, that person's face says it all, doesn't it? They're just smiling, they're... Uh, the little cheeks are rosy. They're just so happy. So, a wish granted. Um, sometimes wishes aren't exactly what we, how we were thinking they were going to come, though. So, uh, just hang in there. Hang in there with me, and we'll get some more cards. Try to get some, some of this clarified as to what kind of wish. What is the challenge here? Nine of Cups, by the way, it could be Piscean energy. Hmm. Clarity. Oh, okay. I, I I almost really, this is like a message to me saying that um, you need to be really clear on your manifestations. Um, you need to be specific. The, you need to add specifics here. The Ace of Swords is like, um, I don't know if you're being crystal clear um, as to what you want. Um, and, and, uh, and then you kind of let go from that point and to get it. So <clears throat> maybe this is about how you live life, uh, what luxuries you have, don't have. It doesn't, either one. So what is the heart of the matter here? The root of it is, ooh, celebration. Getting back together, friends, family, celebrating, possibly drinking, going out, celebrating abundance. Celebrating abundance, three of cups could be that Cancerian energy. Um, so very emotional energy here. Um, and abundance and celebration. What's the past energy? The emperor. Okay, it's not up or down, meaning that you're like everyone. <laughs> there are some things that we do out of fear, or we don't do actually more out of fear than what we do do. Um, so it, it might be talking about that. It might be talking about some area, you know, some area where you're fierce, fearsome. 
in the past, um, or it's simply talking about how you've been guiding your light, you know, with love. You've been living your life with love and letting that decide for you. That could be Aries energy. Let's see what the now moment is. We've got two. Okay, Ten of Swords is a rebirth of some sort. The Four of Cups is coming off like um, there's an opportunity for you that you you possibly aren't seeing it, which might be good that you're getting this message then. Make sure that we're not so withdrawn within ourselves that we can't see these opportunities. However, I do see with, with the Ten of Swords, a person could become withdrawn um, because of, of looking at life the way that they've been viewing it with these swords. You know, somebody has overkilled. Somebody has hurt you and it's been an overkill. So there's a rebirth. You are over a situation. You're, you're done and you're walking away from a situation is what it looks like. Uh, four of Cups could be that Cancer energy again. And the Ten of Swords could be Gemini. What is the near future energy? There's the information that you need. There's a possible move. And you, in the near future, are looking really good, wealthy, independent, self-reliant, financial windfall. Could be a, a lucky win. Um, it's something like that. This is probably a move, uprooting, uh, relocating, or it can be um, crystal clarity on who you're wanting to participate with or not with. This could be independence, you know? So it, it can also be the entrepreneurship card and it can be like the information to get something going here so that you're on your way to your goals. So I see it as good. Page of Swords could be Libra, Gemini, uh, a Aquarius child. The Nine of Pentacles could be Virgo energy. And the Four of Wands could be Aries energy. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is so many, but somebody's feeling really left out. You. Possibly feeling left out in the cold or having to battle some kind of worry at this moment, right? But this has two people hugging on here. So they're getting through this time. There might be somebody's help that we're worried about too, possibly. Um, the Five of Pentacles energy could be Taurus energy. The Devil energies come in here next to it, making me think that, that possibly self-doubt and things like that are, are, are making this worry worse. And maybe causing this to, yeah, maybe causing this to last a little bit longer than it should. I think this is in your environment. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Seven of Wands in reverse. So if you are feeling like going after your vices or grabbing onto something that you're attached to, um, just don't do it. If you're feeling out in the cold, you know, just take a look at the, how you're feeling or how somebody's making you feel. Capricorn energy, the seven of pentacle in reverse and the seven of wands in reverse is like, <clears throat> how long are you going to kind of stand there, um, not invested in something, not standing up for what you want, not being really assertive? Um, it's because you're over it. It's, it's because of this four of cups and the ten of swords, guys. It's, that's, that's the energy there is like, I just don't feel like putting any more in this. Um, I don't think, I don't know if this is like what I want type of energy. I know you don't want this. And this is how you feel. It is going to go away as you see with this future outcome. So that's... Yeah, that's one thing. That's good. Hmm. All right. Seven of Wands could be um, Leo energy. The Seven of Pentacles could be Taurus. So, hopes or fears here. What's the hopes or fears? What's the hopes or fears? Oh, King of Cups. 
the emotions, <clears throat> going through the emotions, having to feel through these emotions, possibly hoping to come master over your own emotions here with that King of Cups energy. Um, this can also represent somebody new coming into the picture, maybe a love interest. If this is, you know, something, if this is how you're viewing this reading, it is general, so it could go any way. But um, King of Cups might be associated with Scorpio. So that might, looks like a completely new character coming in here. And maybe that's what we're hoping for, you know? Okay. Um, the outcome. The outcome for our Libras. The outcome for our Libras has to do with closure after you get information that you need. Um, and then regarding this wish granted, you know, there's an ending. So there's an ending of a chapter. And of course, that means it's the beginning of something really nice and beautiful here. Page of Cups is hopeful new beginning on the bottom. So that's what I got for you guys. Sorry, it's a little short today, but I'm trying to get them out for you. I have well that just fell down from the um, tea leaves. Family wishes come true. <clears throat> And I have heart, great happiness, heart, great happiness, diamonds, you'll be giving or receiving a precious gift, yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated, it might be this devil energy and it may be worry, it might be worry. And then of course, well, family wishes come true. So thanks guys, love and light.